Good morning all. I am Dr. Abha Kumari and today we are going to study some more problem from the chapter differential equation of the first order but not of the first degree. Previously we have seen so many types for in this chapter and also we have done some problem. So let us see the second question from Claret's form. Let us see the another question. The another question is solve sin y cos px minus cos y sin px minus p equals to 0. Earlier the question we have seen is not of the trigonometric function. Okay. So let us see how can we solve the question is when it is of the trigonometric function and we have to change it into the Claret's form or Claret's equation. So in order to change the Claret's equation first we see the concept of the question and we understand in which form we can convert this so that we can easily make it into the Claret's equation. So here the given differential equation as sin y into cos px minus cos y into sin px equals to p we can write like this okay so the left hand side is equal to sin y minus p that is sin a minus b is equals to p. This implies y minus px equal to sin inverse p and this implies y equal to px plus sin inverse p. So here in the equation number 1 what we see is the y stand alone in the left hand side while the function is a multiple of p into x and thereafter this is the function of p alone. So that means the given that means this differential equation 1 is of the form Claret's equation. So here the equation 1 is in Claret's form and hence its general solution is y equal to cx plus sin inverse c put it equation number 2 so in order to find its similar solution we differentiate equation number 2 with respect to c so why we are differentiating here because the equation number 2 cannot be reduced in the form of a quadratic equation and while finding a similar solution the equation must be in the quadratic so that the roots will be equal and thereafter we can find a similar solution but since it is not in the form of the quadratic so we just differentiate it with respect to c so here we differentiating equation number 2 with respect to c so we get it like 0 equal to c into 0 plus x into 1 and then plus 1 by root over 1 minus c square and this imply x equals to minus 1 divided by y root over 1 minus c square put it equation number 3 okay so here's the singular solution will be obtained by limiting c between 2 and 3 so from 2 and 3 what we do is we just square the equation number 3 and from 3 we find the value of c and thereafter we put that value of c in equation number 2 so now squaring equation number 3 we get x square equal to 1 by root 1 by 1 minus c square and this imply x square minus x square c square equals to 1 and this imply x square c square equal to x square minus 1 and this imply c square equal to x square minus 1 divided by x square okay so let us this therefore c equals to what root over x square minus 1 divided by x put it equation number 4 okay so hence from this equation number 4 and from 2. So here we are putting the value of c from 4 in equation number 2. We get an equation like y equal to x into root over x square minus 1 divided by x plus sine inverse bracket root over x square minus 1 divided by x. Since here x and x are getting cancelled, so we are living with the value y equal to root over x square minus 1 plus sin inverse x root over x square minus 1 divided by x which is the required singular solution. I hope you all understand it very well. If you have any doubt, any query then give me a comment in comment box. Thank you all.